I wonder, Alexis, what the fans think about this. Are they worried about the long-term implications or are they happy to be living in the now? Because I know you've been speaking to some of them today. Yeah, okay, we set out this morning pretty early to try and speak to as many fans as possible. And trust me, it was filled with a bunch of locals and a lot of tourists as well. The ticket line just to get stadium tickets just for the match tomorrow was absolutely long. So it was very, very heaving at the camp now today. And I was trying to speak to a couple of them, fans that had flown all the way even from Mexico just to see this new and improved Barcelona. And the massive consensus is that... None of them are really bothered with what's happening behind the scenes or what could happen in the future. I tried to ask them questions if it feels like Barcelona have almost sold their soul to the devil because that was one of the headlines in the local newspapers here. Because that's as Shaka said, it feels a bit manufactured. And if you're just quickly trying to find a solution now, could this come back and haunt you? But everyone said, look, we don't care. All we need to know is that we can compete with Real Madrid and we can get back to those glory days. And I compare the Barcelona and the vibe in the city now to what we felt last year when I landed here at this exact time. It was all doom and despair. Lionel Messi had left in tears. Everyone was protesting. You know, they were saying horrible things about the board and the administration. It was really doom and gloom for what the season, you know, would come. And then eventually, nobody was really trusting in Ronald Koeman. We knew what happened to him after that, before Xavi came in. And you compare it to now, everyone is unbelievably excited. Last time, I still saw a ton of Messi shirts. Now, I, I've lost count of the amount of Robert Lewandowski shirts I saw today. And you know what I also saw? A lot of Frankie de Jong shirts. I'm not sure if people came in and just started buying them to hope that he would continue staying. We know that he is a massive, I suppose, some people now view him as a massive asset to Barcelona. He has said that he does want to stay. We hear that there's interest, of course, from Chelsea now, on top of the interest from Manchester United. And now Barcelona may be looking still to sell him in order to fully get even more money to then further register Jules Koundé, who we don't doubt that they'll be able to to register but whether it happens next week or the week after and whether now that is hinging on the sale of Frankie de Jong is another story but really and truly the vibes in comparison to last year here in Catalonia is definitely very positive and everybody just kind of wants to see Barcelona return to these glory days where they compete with Real Madrid and it seems at least for the fans it doesn't matter what the cost is. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.